Different kind of video coming at you today. Today we're talking camera lenses and this wasn't actually sponsored or sent out or anything. I paid my real money. <laughs> I paid with real money for this baby because I've recently come across a company called TT Artisan. Now a lot of people have already known of this company. I knew they did expensive stuff but not the cheap stuff. What I've got here in my hands is the TT Artisan 50mm f2. Yes, a 50 a nifty 50 F2, cheap as chips, coming in under 80 pounds in the UK. I think it's like $90 in the US for a 50 mil lens F2, which is crazy aperture for such a diddy little thing. Now the reason they're cheap is because they haven't got any of the auto features that most lenses have, like the Sigma 16 millimeter. You know, it doesn't have the autofocus compatibilities. They do hold out on that, where that's the price drop. That's where the real money's made, is when a camera has autofocus, steady shot, IBS, 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 in body stabilization, whatever you want to call it. When a lens has that, money is, is just, thrown into the company. Now a lens like this is perfect for the photographers, for the videographers. If you can focus properly using a lens, then this is a banging lens. Let me tell you now, I've used this already, like it's all already unboxed. So this is a little nifty 50, okay? And obviously once the lens caps off, look how small, look how small that is. Tiny, minute. Now what I like about TT Artisan is the front lens cover. They're not the standard pop on, pop off. Look at this baby, right? You have to physically unscrew it. And this, this little lens case here, this is full metal. So this whole unit's made out of full metal. There is no plastic apart from this little bit and then maybe some little components inside. But the whole outer shell, full metal. And they're all detailed very well. As you can see, it's got all the apertures, it's got all the focal lengths, and that's all you need. And it just looks so vintage, and I love that. That's the thing that really caught my eye, is how vintage this looks. Now, as you can see, if I turn you there, I've got all the vintage cameras. So this actually fits perfectly within that sort of like style, I guess, and it produces some incredible images. So I've got a couple that I'm putting up on screen that was taken with the TT Artisan 50mm f2 and paired with the Sony ZV-E10. Using standard color profiles, had a couple of edits in there, made black and white because I just thought it felt natural in that sort of environment. It made it look a lot more film-esque than it did digital, which I love. Anything that makes something look film. I even have on my phone an app that when I take a photo, it just automatically adds a film effect. So it's sort of like the Biker Q2s where they've got the presets and it just adds a different sort of film effect, if you will, or recipe, they call it. So that's why I thought this, this lens is gonna be perfect for that. And because it's the 50, it's perfect for portraits, it's perfect for close-ups. It also gets a nice bokeh in the background because of the f-stops. The only thing with the TT Artisan's cheaper lenses, a lot of people say that it distorts a little bit of the image at the bottom or the sides, and it gives a bit of a vent, a, a, a bit of a vinetta. Is that what they call it, vinette? I don't know, the, the black sort of out border. I kind of like that. I think that adds more flair to the image. It makes it look a bit more of a natural image instead of it being sort of, you know, oh, I've got a really expensive digital camera. Let me go out and take a perfect, crisp, eye-catching image. I'm getting on the tangent. What I'm trying to say is this lens, absolutely fantastic. If you want to check them out, there is a link down below. This isn't sponsored. I'm trying to get them to sponsor me because I think their lenses are insane and amazing. TT Artisan 50mm f2. I think they also have an f1.4 50mm. I think that's under 80 pounds as well. Then they do have a couple that are around like the 90, 100, 150 mark, which are still very decent quality. And some of them I believe have autofocus. But for me, I had to go for this. It just looks fantastic. And uh, what I'm gonna do is actually switch over so you can see it in recording of what it looks like when it's recording the video as well. So now this is the little nifty 50, and I don't know where the focus range is. Because I'm in S-Log3, it's very washed out. I have to do all this in editing. But I think the focal, I think I'm, I'm focused here. Is that where I'm focused at? I don't know. But yeah, this is what the camera looks like. And as you can see by the photos that I've shown, it does amazing quality. You have to use the focus ring to uh, get the quality that you want. You can unfocus, you can focus it in. It's even got the ISO, so I can turn that down, turn it back up. Amazing, amazing. Let's switch back. That's the little nifty 50 there from TT Artisan. And now I will say, when you plug these into your Sony camera, you will have to change the setting. They do tell you how to do it in the book if you don't know already, but because these aren't technically supported by Sony e-mounts, 
it will come up with a little error saying it's either not mounted properly or you need to go into the settings and change. I can't remember what the setting was. If you know what it is, leave it in the comments below for other people. But yeah, you have to go in and change the setting. Just enable it and then it works absolutely fine. So that's a little video for the TT Artisan 50mm F2. I hope you enjoyed this style of video. Just sitting down talking about some gear instead of it being so much more promoting the gear. It's more just me saying like how much I really enjoy this, this bit of kit that I've paid for and not been sponsored by. So just to keep that in mind, I'm actually giving you a physical item I paid for on this channel. <laughs> but other than that, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because it really helps with the channel growing. And then it lets me know as well what you like more on the channel. And always remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.